everyone, I'm Amanda and this is Big Empress Energy. I am here to do a general May reading for all those concerned with Gemini. So Gemini could be your sun, moon, or rising signs. Your Venus could be in Gemini. Um, or just any important placement in your chart. Um, or you could be connecting with the Gemini. And if that's the case, just be aware that you might have to flip the roles. And if this reading resonates with you, please like and comment. And if you like the way that I read, subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm a newer channel and I'm working to grow it. So, wow, the two and three of wands, Gemini. You have the sun here, which is beautiful. I mean, that's that's Leo's card. But with the nine of cups and the sun, I mean, some sort of, of choice, choosing to to take control in your life and in choosing a path is leading to, you know, a wish come true, like a complete emotional fulfillment on an individual level, like happiness. Um, with the nine of cups and the rainbow here and the three of wands and the sun, I mean, it's just so much happiness. After a lot of um, conflict and chaos I see here with the five of swords, you know, you've been going through a lot of change. What else, please, for my Geminis for the month of May? Wow, strength. So we have both of Leo's cards here. So some of you really could be dealing with a Leo, or you could have a lot of Leo in your chart. Um, whatever this Five of Swords was and the Two of Wands um, that has led to you, you know, having to make a decision, I don't think it was an easy one. Um, you know, choosing a path in your life, um, I think you had to gain and muster up a lot of inner strength, I think, for this, to be honest. Um, yeah, I mean, some of you, I could see it being, you know, like a, a relationship, choosing to leave that behind, or choosing to leave a career that wasn't serving you. Um, I could see you moving. Um, it could be a million different things. It'll probably be different for most of you. Um, you know, on an individual level, but, but whatever difficulty you were in and you were having to, you know, uh, like muster up all this strength and courage, um, I see, you know, it paying off for you. You're, you're going to get your wish. The nine of cups can represent a wish come true. And the three of wands can represent our, um, you know, our manifestations, the things that we've wanted, the things that, you know, you were deciding about in the two of wands, that's those things finally coming in, you know, in the traditional Rider Waite, it's, it's a man, um, watching, you know, ships on the horizon at sunset. And he's obviously waiting on something in those ships, you know, so it's, it's waiting for the payoff, waiting for the good to come out after all this difficulty and all this, you know, what feels like a battle in your life, like all this conflict. Ooh, the Four of Cups. You were not happy where you were, Gemini. Like, I, I don't think that you were happy. Um, for those of you that were in a relationship, I don't think that you were happy with the cup of love that they had to offer. But I feel like for a lot of you, it's like, you just weren't happy with the people in your life, the situation that you were going through, whatever this was, whatever this difficulty and conflict was, it was not making you happy. And you knew that you wanted more. And I think that you had to make a decision to kind of let go of something. And I don't think it was easy, but, um, in that process, it's leading you towards this happiness really cool really cool Gemini yeah there's there it is again like the two of swords like I think you had to make a decision with the two of wands and the two of swords and the two of swords can represent you know being at a crossroads having to make a decision um but she's blindfolded here and so it's having to make a decision using your intuition more than anything like like following how you feel your internal guidance system emotional guidance system Ooh, seven of pentacles. Okay, so the seven of pentacles, all the sevens, but especially the seven of pentacles represents, you know, assessment. Um, like taking a look at how far you've come, Gemini. And I think, you know, that's that's either where you're at right now and, and you're making that decision at this time. Um, and, and this is spirit saying it's going to pay off. Like, like you will be happy. You will get that cup that you've always wanted or whatever. Um, 
your nine cups, but that it requires strength. Um, but I also think, you know, the timing will be different for all of you. And I think for some of you, you know, you were in this situation where you were like looking at your life and you were like, I'm really unhappy. There's a lot of chaos surrounding me, a lot of, um, conflict and, um, you know, and I think you were feeling conflicted about where you were, Gemini. I think that you had to make that decision with the two of wands and the two of swords, you know, and, and now you're going after that. You're, you're, you've chosen to listen to your intuition and to, you know, let spirit guide you. You've gained that clarity and it's, and it's going to lead to so much happiness and abundance. Um, but I don't think it was an easy decision to make, Gemini, but spirit is going to reward you for that. Ooh, the Hierophant. Okay, so I think for a lot of you, um, this was a commitment of some kind. Like I was saying, like like maybe you worked at the same place for a really long time. Or, you know, some of you, it could have been a marriage or like a long-term relationship. Um, it could have been a living situation. Living, I mean, the Hierophant is all about commitment, but it's also all about, you know, the way that we've always done things. Like the tried and true way of doing things following the same path as others have followed. Um, and, and, you know, sometimes that's a really good thing, but sometimes when that path isn't serving us individually, um, we have to make the difficult decision to branch out from that. And, um, yeah, Gemini, I think you had to make that decision to branch out from, from the status quo, the way that you've done things for a very long time. Um, because it wasn't fulfilling you. It wasn't making you happy. And in that process, it's, it's bringing you to something so much better, Gemini. Oh, the Ten of Cups. Look at that. I'm taking that. Oh, and the Four of Wands right underneath it. Wow. So for some of you, um, you know, this could have been like a family or like a living situation. Um, for others of you, I think this really was love. Like you were not fulfilled in a commitment that you were in and you had to make the difficult decision to branch out from it because you knew that your nine of cups and your 10 of cups were out there. Um, with the four of wands here, the person that you want to be with forever in that long-term commitment, it's out there for you, Gemini. And I think you had to choose to leave that commitment behind and I don't think it was easy. Um, the same could apply to, like I was saying, like a living situation or a career. Um, wow, the Empress is underneath it, Gemini. Oh my God. So some of you um, could be in this divine feminine energy, which is like a really abundant, like fruitful energy where you just attract everything that you want. Or some of you could be in the divine masculine energy, like with between the Empress and the Hierophant here, the three um, to the five, the, it's the four, the emperor, it's your divine counterpart. So I really think for a lot of you, you know, um, this could have been someone that you had children with that you left behind. That's not going to be for all of you. Um, because you weren't fulfilled, you weren't happy in it. And you know what? Your happiness is important, Gemini. You don't have to stay stuck in something that had all this conflict and made you feel very confused and lost. You don't have to stay in that just for the sake of, of commitments, just for the sake of why you've, just for the sake of the way that you've always done things, you know what I mean? Or the expectations that your family puts on you or, you know, the, the way that we were raised, you know, if you're not happy, then you're not happy, Gemini. Um, and, and you got to choose to leave those things behind. Um, very cool. Look at this. There's a new passionate beginning waiting for you, Gemini. If you can choose to, to let this go, choose to choose yourself essentially. Really cool. Really cool. Look, the Ten of Pentacles. This is a very long-term commitment that you've been, you've assessed, you've decided, you know what, I'm not happy and this isn't making me happy. I'm going to go out. I'm going to go from the Ten of Cups, whatever this was that, that brought another cup to the scenario. You know what I mean? The Ten of Cups is when we meet someone else. It doesn't even have to be romantic, but it's when we meet someone else who brings 
that emotional fulfillment um, for both of you. They add to the situation. Whereas the Nine of Cups is when you have that emotional fulfillment on your own. And I see here, Gemini, at the heart of this reading is, you know, the Five of Swords, which you were very conflicted about having to make this decision. But you're going from this Ten of Cups to the Nine of Cups. Like, you're choosing what makes you happy. And Gemini, it's not selfish. It's the right thing. Choose yourself. It's okay. You know? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Gemini. So, I mean, like I was saying, I see this paying off, this difficult decision to branch out from the way that you've done things or have been doing things for a very long time. Possibly, you know, with the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups here, the Empress. Um, you know, sometimes the Empress can represent a literal mother, um, male, female, any other gender, it doesn't matter. She, she's a pregnant woman in this deck, so it could be, you know, the way that your parents have expected things to be done in your life. Um, you know, the son has a baby on it. Um, it could have been someone that you had children with. Um, you know, someone who you were married to. I mean, with the Four of Wands and the Hierophant, that's marriage. And the Ten of Cups, that's family. The Empress is a pregnant woman. You know, it's someone that you have had children with, um, again, this isn't gender specific and this isn't going to resonate with all of you, but, but there's happiness out there for you, Gemini. You don't have to stay in something just for the kids or just for the expectations that people in our lives have put on us. You know what I mean? You don't have to stay in a relationship or a career path just because that's what people say that we should be doing, even though we're not happy and we're not fulfilled. Um, and what I see here, Gemini, is you're either coming up on choosing to leave that behind, um, or you are, you have recently left that commitment behind and it's paying off, Gemini, this month, it is paying off. You are reaping the rewards of it. You're in a very abundant energy with the sun and the empress here. You're going to get what you want. You're going to get the Ten of Cups is your happily ever after. The Four of Wands is something to celebrate. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. You have my two, you have my three favorite cards in this spread, Gemini. You have the Ten of Cups, which was my all-time favorite card, that complete emotional fulfillment. Then you have the sun, which was my second favorite, which is that like uh, incredible clarity abundance the sun is everything it's everything you've ever wanted and then the empress which is that energy that pulls in the sun everything you've ever wanted it pulls in the sun it pulls in the ten of cups it's everything that you've ever wanted i know i keep saying that but you have something to celebrate coming in for you gemini i mean let me just say this you have the ace of wands which is this new beginning you choosing to start over with something new choosing to deviate from the tried and true way the the what you have been doing the status quo um you choosing and making that difficult decision that you were conflicted about to deviate from that path um is bringing you forward incredibly fast like i mean you have the ace of wands you have the two of wands the three of wands and the four of wands gemini like you are um, progressing so quickly because you chose to follow your intuition, because you chose to follow your heart. And that's never the wrong thing, Gemini. I know that sometimes it can feel selfish or it can feel scary, like, am I making the wrong decision? Um, Gemini, you have not made the wrong decision. Choosing yourself, choosing what will make you happy is the right decision. You deserve to be happy, Gemini. Okay. So I'm going to pull an oracle card for you for this month, Gemini, just as advice. Woo! Okay, that one went flying. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Ooh, this card. Okay, so um, 21 could be significant to some of you. Um, doesn't have to be. I mean, 21 reduces to 3. You have two threes here already, Gemini, so 333 three, three could be significant for some of you. Um but I've gotten this card before in my, I think it was my, um, what was it? I think it was my March readings. Yeah. Um, and, and it's really like about luck, like lady luck being on your side. Like things are shifting. Your luck is shifting, Gemini. Like things are turning in your favor. Um, because you're choosing 
to follow your happiness. I know this is super cliche, but you're following your bliss, Gemini, and it's gonna pay off. Choosing what makes you happy isn't a wrong choice, even if it makes other people uncomfortable or unhappy, you know? Um, you know, just as long as you don't intentionally hurt anyone. Um, pursuing your own happiness isn't a selfish thing. And I, that's what I see here, Gemini. I see you choosing what's best for you. And again, 333 could be significant for some of you. I'm not sure, you know, if that resonates with you. Or 21 or 12, those numbers could mean something to you. The 21st could mean something of this month. Okay, so the key words of this card is lady luck, fate, taking risks, evaluating the odds, and superstition. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? <laughs> That's, of course, Clint Eastwood in Dirty Harry. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so this card is all about evaluating the odds and taking risks. Life is a constant roll of the dice, so you must consider all the pros and cons. While some choices can be avoided, others we are forced to make, Gemini. <laughs> Each comes with its own promise of reward or consequence. Our perception of our chances are often influenced by our individual abilities, beliefs, or superstitions. But ultimately, only the lady knows what card she holds. Lady Luck personifies our conceptual approach to luck and fate. Adorned and surrounded by a collection of associated symbols, she offers us another card that will determine whether we have a winning or losing hand. Are we relying too much on luck? Are we struggling to pay our bills but still buying a lottery ticket? Are we basing important decisions simply on the hope that things will turn out in our favor? If so, good luck and keep your fingers crossed. Gemini, the warning at the end of that card, I think, is the fear that you've had to overcome to make this decision to choose happiness, to leave whatever it is that is the way you've been doing things for a very long time, possibly forever. Um, choosing to leave that behind, Gemini, is bringing luck in your favor. The wheel is turning. You are getting what you deserve now because you made that difficult decision to leave um, whatever this situation was. Um, it's going to give you cause for celebration, Gemini. It's going to bring you complete emotional fulfillment. It's going to give you your happily ever after. So choose your happiness. Follow your intuition. Follow your heart because things are turning in your favor. Things are going to work out for you. It's really, it's very beautiful. This was a beautiful reading, Gemini. I loved this so much. And again, I, I um... No, I, I didn't say this, but um, this, you know, if you're interested, if you have Virgo in your chart, I kind of got a similar message for Virgo um, if you want to watch that reading. Um, but very cool, Gemini. May is going to bring you so many rewards, so much abundance because you had to choose the difficult path. You had to choose to do something that, that probably hurt you, that probably broke your heart. Um but, but you stayed strong, you chose what was right for you, Gemini, and it's paying off. You deserve this. All right, Gemini, I love you. Um, I hope you got some message from this that resonated with you. Um, if you did, like and comment, share the video. Um, and if you like the way that I read, subscribe to my channel. I'm a smaller channel and I'm working to grow it. So every new subscriber, every like, every comment really makes a difference and I notice it. And if you'd like a re personal reading with me, I will put my email in the description box below, or if you just have questions about what that would entail. Um, okay, Gemini, I love you so much. I hope you have an amazing May, and I will see you in the next one.